Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer, and this is The Road to the Record, where I work to achieve mastery of 10 games and a hunt for the best score of the decathlon. If you like what you see, remember to hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. Let the games begin. This is Pro Cycling Manager 2019, Career Mode Episode Number 17. This is the pivotal stage in the Circuit Cyclista Sarthi. For this one, it's a major objective for us. Three and a half stars. Uh, the biggest one we have for the remainder of the entire season. The first three stages included a prologue, a couple sprint stages, and we are in a good position with Venipol in fourth, Ooms in fifth, Owen is in eighth, uh, Banishek, Dan Ermino is 13th. So we're all up there in the standings. Narvaez was one that I was hoping that would be a bit closer after the prologue, as he is our best punchy climber. We're going to have to for focus more on Narvaez helping Venipol because our objective is the top three overall. Just under 75k left to go here in stage number four. However, there is a lot of action expected in this one as a lot of climbing is yet to come and all the way to the finish line. Uh, we're going to hit that same exact climb five times. The first time is coming up here in just a little bit from where we're at right now. <coughs> there is, let's see, 40... The fact that there is a breakaway, given that the pack has increased its speed. 40k from that category three to the end. Well, and really the, the one before that, it's 15. So the lap is about 15 kilometers with half of it being uphill. So it's a fairly lengthy climb at seven, seven and a half kilometers. <clears throat> yeah, maybe a little bit less than that. Maybe more like five or six K and only a few K of that being fairly steep. So it's not gonna be as bad as it seems, but that doesn't mean it's gonna be easy. With that, I need to get water one final time. And we're getting close to the point where that's going to happen. And I think I should probably send Ermino now before we get to the top here. The pack is increasing its work rate. Some teams can't be happy with the breakaway. Hey, he hasn't gotten the water yet. That could be a problem. That's no, okay, he'll drop back on the next climb, hopefully. But let's go ahead and make sure of that. We'll keep an eye on him. And here's that next secondary climb. And he has not gotten the water yet. That's that's a good thing. If he gets the water right now and starts trying to attack while we're attacking the climb, that's gonna be Oh gosh, and he just did. This climb is fierce. Take your time, Ermino. Take your time. I'm gonna try to keep you behind these guys. So you're not attacking too hard until we get over the top. There's the top, so that's that's not too bad. <clears throat> now you can attack it. Bring that water forward. There's some that just can't keep up. There are gaps beginning to appear at the rear. There's a sustained rhythm at the moment. Some riders definitely will be able to So keep this up. challenge of getting into the top three is made far more difficult by the fact that there are four world tour teams at this race. And they're definitely for the biggest teams participating in this race, making life much tougher. Uh, Ermino still has not gotten up there yet as we continue to make our way up the climb. This is the climb, by the way, so this is this is it. We're just 4% right now. It's not bad, but we're about to hit the steeper slopes. By steeper slopes, it looks like 4.5%. <laughs> Still just, yeah, roughly four and a half percent. Just three through here. Ermino doesn't have much left in terms of energy. He's still not gotten up there with water, so this is a little bit of an issue. Hopefully he can get it done on this descent. On Ermino, you're not quite out of energy yet. So yeah, that, that climb is not severe at all. It definitely favors a hills guy over a mountains guy. 
but the mountain ones could keep up a, f a fairly rapid pace. I don't know. Get some water! Let's go. Narvaez and Badajek, the only ones left. At least it is Narvaez and Badajek and not uh, our leaders for the day, but Narvaez is ultimately one of the guys I'm going to be relying on as he's our top hills guy. I'm going to try to get him leading the Venipol to the finish line. Finally, Ermino finishes the job, and he is much weaker for it now. Water could be a real issue in this game. The six riders off the front still have two and a half minutes. It, there is a good chance that they are going to hang on. And at this point, 85, not quite enough to hang on pace-wise. And we're about to hit the climb again. In fact, we've already started our uphill. One point seven, two degrees, and there you go, three degrees. So we're into that mountain rating for now, and just into the hills rating a little bit. And yes, damage is being done. You can see even McNulty has already faded. Banishek, Ermino. All fading. Peloton beginning to split to have a 76 riders. That's two of five times over the climb. And Ermino has already gone out the back. So really his job just ended up being the, the get water. McNulty and Badajek, they'll recover a little bit, have a little bit left. Who is alone now? It's Ooms and Owen. Ooms is better placed by 7 seconds, but I really think Owen is a better option than Ooms is. So let's reverse this. Ooms is going to protect Owen. So we're riding now for Venipol and Narvaez. Temporarily for Owen, but... <clears throat> really, we've got the four guys left at this point. Banajek, McNulty... Recovering just enough to give us a little bit more support. Next time over the climb, we'll definitely finish those guys off. Okay. Batajek, McNulty, not recovering enough. So let's go ahead and turn these two to auto. That's three guys done now. <clears throat> With four going to make it easy to decide what to do. Owen is going to protect Venipol. Ooms will protect Herveus. Make sure your colors aren't matching. Let's try that again. Starting to eat up the breakaway, and Peloton itself is down to 60 riders. Banajek McNulty, they're still here, so they have not been dropped yet. Uh, I would imagine this time over the climb, this group is going to get much smaller than it is right now. My four guys are in a good position right at the front. Four riders left off the front, they're down to one minute. Owen and Ooms taking a beating this time over, but that's still, they'll make it over, looks like. So they'll give me a little bit of support next time, and then I'll ultimately be down to Narvaez and Venipol. Banajek, McNulty finally going out the back. Peloton's down to 28 riders. Brian, there's Simon, uh, Simon. There's Moscow and Kalmajan. Kung. Kung's still here. 18 riders left in the peloton. That is it. Oh, batch 27. Oh, Banajek fell down. It looks like he'll have to abandon the race. Several riders are on the ground. Hopefully he's not the one who's out. 
No, he's he's okay. He's gotten back up. All right, there's the the false climb. It's 20 riders. We're just 30 seconds behind the break, so I think we're definitely going to catch them. Just 20 riders left. Ooh, 27. The group is growing a little bit here. Push at 91 this time. Ace is just going to get hotter and hotter. I'm going to lose those two riders this time over the top, but I'll, that'll give me two guys for the final climb. So hopefully Narvaez doesn't take too much of a beating here. Only 15 kilometers left. Booms is done. So Narvaez, it's going to be a little bit weaker for him. Breakaway group's caught. And riders are starting to drop. Boom's hanging on. He's actually recovering here near the top. That's That could be a good thing for us. Just get a brief lead out from him and Owen. Yeah, that time over the top, not much pace in the group. This is a good chance with 11 kilometers to go. We'll set, I don't know, 96. Avenapol is going to follow Narvaez. And it's his lead out. Owen's doing just slightly better than Ooms. Ooms will use his gel right away. <clears throat> 10 kilometers remaining. I don't want to attack this climb unless we need to. But over the top, I want to to do that. We're up to 31 riders. All right, pushing the tempo. As we go over the top, Ooms is going to start his acceleration so we can get to the front. There we go. Let's use his gel now. 6k to go. Ah, come on. I wanted to get out front. Get out front. Come on, Owen. We're into the last five kilometers. Come on, Eventable. Get up there. You're wasting your energy. There we go. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Looms is about to run out. Eventable, use your gel as well. Owen, you're going to take over here in just a moment. There you go. Three and a half K, and we are in the perfect position. Ah, Ooms went right. I went right with Owen. Venipole fading. Narvaez looking really strong, though. 2K. Narvaez, your turn. Now, I need to slow him down a little bit, because he's going to have a lot of pace here. And Avenipol's not going to be able to keep up with him. I'd go for... I'd go the other way around if I could, but Avenipol isn't strong enough. Uh, or Narvaez is too far down. I mean. All right. Now, Narvaez push 99. And Avenipol... Sprint. So both of you sprint. Fedipol, he'll get a time bonus here. Narvaez will get a time bonus here. Moscon right for the win. Narvaez second. Oh, a Fedipol fourth. No. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Narvaez steals. Or right, Mullard steals. Fedipol's third. I thought for sure he had third. What? Oh, I wanted that four seconds. Moss Gun is going to move into that race lead, but this is going to affect the standings. This could and should move us into the top three. There is not many riders left there at the front at all. Kung, did way down in 19th. He was just there with Ooms, so that was two and a half minutes down. Oh, jeez, a Venipole. 
a millimeter away from a four second bonus. Muscon's going to move into the race lead, that's for sure. But will Avenipol be in second? Probably not. Petit, Petit, he was in the race lead, wasn't he? He finished fifth, so he's not going anywhere. So Avenipol may be third? Oh gosh, it looked like he was ahead of him. It was so close. What? Fourth. Millard picks up the four seconds. So Millard gets a millimeter above Avenipol. Not only takes the four seconds away, but it's an eight second swing because Avenipol, instead of being six seconds down and Millard being 13 seconds down, that flips. Millard picks up enough time to move into third place overall. <sighs> Knocking Avenipol, well, keeping a Venipole in fourth and literally one second out of the top three that we need. Now, Narvaez, nicely, yeah, he moves up to ninth with the time that he got. He's only 28 seconds down now. But he's not who I'm writing for because, well, 18 seconds down, that's, that's not enough. He picked up six seconds here. But these guys aren't going to get left behind. And that's our problem. So we're looking at still just top five. I don't know how Millard beat Avenipole in that. Dang it. One stage to go. Now, top five is not bad. It's not a bad eval. But I really wanted that top three because of the boost that would have come with it. Really hard to get top three here. And meanwhile, we've got another race. That's ready to kick off here. S Stage one is a sprint. Small team going to this one. Just five riders taking the minimum we can take to it as it is not an important race on the calendar. So we've got Brian Kassart, Iking, Mater, and Vashek. Here on stage number one, we have 25 kilometers to go. The breakaway group was just reeled in and there's a sprint point coming up. So there's a few bonus seconds. There's points to be had. We're going to line up our train a little bit early. We're going to push and then back off. So I want to bring these guys forward. And ultimately what I would like to do is I'd like to get uh, Brian and Mater over the top first. So Mater is going to go out as the front guy. Mater, uh, Brian's going to follow him. And then we'll get the normal order. And then we'll drop those two back. So what's that normal order? It's going to be I King. Oh, except for I was going to go the other way, wasn't I? Uh, cancel that. Okay, so I King's going to follow Kassar, who's going to follow Vashek. And then Vashek's going to follow Brian. So a different order than what we would normally see here. But I'm going to push to get out front. And we'll see if a 79 is enough. So Mater is going to be lead out. It's 4K. So I don't want to push Mater too hard here. There we go. That's enough to get us out front. We'll watch from Iking. I want Brian to just do a very, very quick sprint when we come up on it. Speed up, speed up, speed up, speed up. Okay, it's 1k to go. Brian, Brian does not need to sprint a full k here. There's nobody out in front, so with less than 20 kilometers to go, it's beginning to look as though it's going to end in a mass sprint. Okay, first their order, nobody's attacking me. Oh, oh, no, 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 Brian. There you go. Whew, that was close. <laughs> Almost messed that one up. All right, now, uh, Mater is going to drop behind Iking. Brian's going to drop behind Vashek. We're already formed up, except for I didn't set... Oh, jeez. Uh, 
99. <laughs> there you go. Okay, 74 for Vashek. Yes, that is enough to keep us on the front. 19k. There's one rider pushing there. Is that Enric Moss? No. Let those guys push for now. It's still 17 kilometers. We're near the front. Fifteen kilometers to the finish line. Can use Fashex gel. Pace is starting to pick up beside us, and we're starting to get gobbled up a little bit. So I need to push a little more here. The Peladon has definitely accelerated, meaning that an attack is highly unlikely. Twelve K to go. Ashik riding harder. Small team, this is different than what I'm used to. Okay, he's on to his gel. Let's go ahead and get Cassard's gel ready. bit harder into 8k 91 all right here we go 6k Vashek really starting to ramp up the speed this was a good job by him he kept us in a safe position Catsword's gel's kicked in. Use the others. Vashek can go just that hair further. Okay. Catsword is going to take over. It's 4k. Come on. You need a little more speed than you've got. Iking's gel has kicked in. He's already going to 99, but he's just slow. Viking, definitely a faster rider. And, oh, we're getting bogged down, we're getting bogged down. Turn this corner and sprint, sprint, sprint. And the final sprint is off. Who's going to be the first of the line today? Okay, it's 1K, but these guys are really caught up. Mater got a good one there. Brian, way behind. Everybody give her sprint. Mater's in a much better position. Iking's in the best position on this one, but Mater's got the speed. No top three. No top three. Nasser Buani takes the win. Mater gets sixth. Whippert there for Evo Pro. Seventh. Iking hangs on for tenth. Brian doesn't even crack the top ten. He got caught behind way too many riders. And then it Ended up with a bit of a gap there from him to Mater. So we got bogged down in the end. Uh, mostly just because I didn't have enough sprint lead out. Cassart took over. He was at full 99 and was being overtaken by a lot of riders. And they were not on sprint. They just had better speed than he does. And that's why you really can't go into these with just one or two sprint guys. Otherwise... You're going to have what happened there. My secondary lead out man is way too slow. Way too slow. And we just got... We just got swallowed by the other sprint teams and couldn't recover. And then ultimately our lead out guy, who was in a slightly better position, at least was able to recover sixth place, but... That was all down to positioning. So Coos recovered, that's good. Here is stage five. It is very undulating, but in terms of elevation change, not much elevation change. Vanapol in fourth, he's just one single second out of fifth. I will look, uh, I mean out of third. I will look for an opportunity 
to gain a sprint point here or here. This one I doubt. This one is if the breakaway is still fighting. I'll fight to keep the breakaway at bay long enough to get a Venipole up here and get a 1, 2, or 3. Pick up a second or two. And ultimately, we'll try to make sure that the group is pulled back by here, if not there. We need one second. We need to get him into third. And this is not punchy. This is more mountainous, which favors Venipole a lot more today, as long as he comes up with a good race day condition. She should, with the fitness peak, the plus two. But with the nature of what we're doing here, I think we'll just go ahead and stay live through this and see what we are capable of here in this final stage. Uh, I have hopes that we can make something happen to get a Venipole at least a second at either that first or last sprint point and then in the finish should be there. Narvaez actually in the favorites this time as this one is seen more as a punchy hill stuff. I had nobody in the favorites list uh, at any stage up until now so the fact that we're even in the top five, two riders in the top ten, is already a testament to how we're doing strategy wise but strategy wise we still need to take it a step further if we're going to crack the podium so everybody should find a section to their pleasing Moscon rightfully the race leader right now definitely the strongest rider here McNulty negative condition everybody else is good in fact everybody else is a plus two so couldn't be more balanced than it is uh, Venipole, yes, he was looking good in that brief glance I got. As is Narvaez. Now, how long do we have to go? Thirty k. Do we want to fight off a breakaway for thirty k? We'll certainly get a chance to recover after that. Erminote would be the guy to do it. So we're going to try to... And McNulty's having a bad race. So I think I might get McNulty up there to join him. Panajek, no. Manajek will be the lead-out guy for this. Six riders trying to get off the front, but they're not opening up a big gap. We'll work them hard. We'll keep them close where we can attack hard. Coming up on that point, I mean, we're already through 5K. Now, who can join them, though? Let me get that sorted out. So Banajek's going to be lead-out for Eventipol. Ooms is in 12th. Why don't I go ahead and take Ooms for now as well? Three riders. Pushing 80. I don't mind. If they're, if they're 30 seconds away, we can catch them. Especially we'll wear them out over the next 22 kilometers. But they are opening a little gap. We don't want that. Now, for everybody else, I got four guys here. So Banajek's going to protect. And there's nobody else to protect, is there? Well, yeah, Narvaez, we want him protected. This isn't a sprint stage. All right. Reselect all three of them so I can manage the speed. They've Still gaining just a little bit of time, but they are having to push hard to get it. 18k. The good thing right now is they're, they'll keep pushing, and that'll tire them out. I don't want to catch them too soon. A couple of teams have set themselves up as pacemakers for the pack. They obviously don't have anybody in the breakaway group. Forty-nine seconds. 
Yeah, more attacks coming because the gap's not big. And that's the thing. More, more will attack. But I can't let them get out too far. And they're, they're starting to edge towards that. And with six riders, they've got enough of a rotation. I only have three given chase. I think I might need to send one more up there. Logan Owen. Twelve K to go. Now the lead's holding is starting to crumble a little bit. Not quite. Not quite. Now, wondering if it's time 10k form a train and really fight to get that three seconds for a Venable. In fact, it's less than that now. We have 10k, it's nine and a half for the guys at the front. We might do that here in a moment. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> We're going to treat this like the final, and then we will try to recover right after. Risky move. We're wasting some energy at this point, but I'm going to try to get him all three seconds. So that means our Eventipool is going to follow Banaszek, follow Ooms. There's your lead out. And then we want to protect Narvaez as he's in the top ten. And Owen's looking stronger. And then we'll go McNulty and Ermino. We're not using any gels or anything. But we're going to really step this up right away here. So you guys are coming, Narvaez. Get up there, get up there. Good. Okay, time's coming down. 7k. That's uh, very technical. I don't want to use all their energy, so I'll, I will rotate through these guys here very quickly. 40 seconds though. 38. 5k. Okay, so out your job's done. Just drop to the back. Nolte. A little climb here, so he'll be able to put up good pace. 30 seconds. Okay, McNulty. Come on, Owen. 20 seconds. 2K. Ooms, I need a sprint. Oh, we didn't make it. Everybody relax. <laughs> Everybody relax. Breakaway group will survive. No time bonus. Not on that first occasion, anyway. Okay, set him up for the long haul. We want to protect Venipol. We want to protect Nervaeus. And we want to protect Ooms. Alright, Owen. Gap opens up to two minutes just like that. That breakaway group. Some good stamina in there. Those guys, I mean, it, it's easier with six riders. It definitely is, but those guys withstood 
our charge pretty well. I mean, at the end, I was going 98, 99 sprint. We only pulled back 40, we pulled back 40 seconds in 10K. At almost max effort. Alright, we are recovered. So, the impact of our effort is very minimal, as, as the field clearly backed off, as expected. Well, let's go ahead and sit back and enjoy the show for a little bit. So, for the next little while, not much going on, but look how sh how steep these climbs are. They're very short, but it is very steep, and we're going to be hitting it over and over and over again. It's the same one, starting with not the one we're on now, not the one we're after, but the one after that. The one with the flat plateau at the top, and then you got the the slight crown in the second one, and then the third one is just the, the up down with the yellow orange. So not this first one coming up. But that triple, triple climb, so we're going to go ahead and tune in. Here we go. We're on it. There's the first. Short and steep. Now yeah, we need water. Shoot. And 80k to go. It's a little soon. Uh, we're going to have to get water one more time after this. And ooms, you'll be the guy. Go get it. There's the second. Not as steep. That's actually not that bad at all. Skinny road. This is actually really going to favor me as this field could split, and there's the third. That's the triple climb. There's nothing to it. That's nothing. Yeah, here you go. This first one is really steep, but it's so short. You just got to be in the right position. Is that the finish line? Or was that the start line? No, that's the hill climb. It is over the third climb. So here's the second. Uh, there's nothing to that second one. And that's just a little blip. It's almost like a sprint finish here, other than the skinny road thing, which can split the field big time. Down, set it up. And then here's the final climb. That's the final climb. There's nothing to it. And then it's sprint finish from there. There's a collective ball with downhill. On the, ground. We can only hope that they all get back up. the last 400 meters is downhill. And on a curve. So it's technical. This is, is yeah, 20% there for a moment. It gets 19.7, I think. That's going to do the damage right there. You just got to be in the right position. And that'll split the field. Now, the the gap is 240. Gap is 240. A Venipole is not a sprinter, is he? Not at all. I don't think we're going to catch back up to these guys one more time through. Not happening. So we're going to have to count on one of the top three losing time. And the only way that's going to happen is a small finish, as in I've got two, three guys left ahead of the rest of the field. And that could happen. It could happen. Like this could do it right here. Get to 13% through there. And the one before it. So two really short, really steep. See, so we're seeing little splits on that. The right amount of acceleration coming off of it, and you could just open up a gap just like that. Yeah, it breaks too far away. We're not going to catch him. 
There's a split though, we suddenly have a breakaway group of 21 riders there for a moment. About to pull in two riders. If it was the other way around, if we'd pulled in four and had just two left, we could have gone for that one second for third. Damage is being done though, look. Ooms, McNulty, Ermino, Banishek, all pretty tired. Well, we've still got 40k to go. Speed things up for right now though, because we're, we're still just in cruise mode. Peloton is starting to shrink, so the damage is being done. Some of these guys I think we're going to need to start using, like McNulty, Ermino, need, need to use their gels. Deficit is being cut back. There's a sustained rhythm at the moment. I'm not sure now. Oh, I didn't kick in in time. Let's use McNulty's now. Use Spanish X now. Oh, Armino hanging on. There we go. It kicks in. That's boosting him back up a little bit. Give him a little bit longer life. 41 riders is all that's left. Now Armino getting dropped. Forty-five riders. Twenty-four K just like that. So we've got We're on the last two laps. We just started the last of two laps. And we're definitely seeing that split. Just thirty seconds to the front. almost ready to form a train and start pushing the tempo and trying to split things. But that split needs to come near the end, so right now it's more of just survivability. And the way the field is shrinking here. Green Jersey, Soro. No, he's in 38th, but there's, there's a split. McNulty's about to get split off. We're looking at just 39 riders left in contention. Kung just hanging on to the back. Jusper, Tinelli, Nolte still hanging in there. Breakaway groups caught. It's 43 riders and 16k. We're coming up on that one lap to go, and over the top here might be the best spot to form up. There you go, Banajek's done. So really, I only have the three guys left. That's that's not good. Uh, what I need to do... No, nah, you know what, we're okay. We're okay. I'm gonna attack right at the top. Oh, I still have ooms. Okay, I've got four guys left. So, Venipole. He's going to get a lead out from Narvaez. He's definitely the best hills attack climber. The other guys... They're out. Turn them all on auto. There you go. Ooms, I don't want you to attack yet. But you're going to move into a good position, which he's in a good position right now. And we'll set him to about a 95. And here we go. This climb is feared by many riders. The percentages are very high. And then I want him to accelerate over the top. There you go. There you go. No, nope, too much, too much. There's a split, seven riders. That's what I was looking for. Ah, gel, 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 come on now. What is wrong with me? Four riders. There's now just ten kilometers left. 
Ooms. Twitch can't hang in there, but we've got a 10 second gap, 12 second gap. Seven and a half K. They're back on, but we're in a good spot here. 17 riders. Okay, we have just the one last climb. I don't want to use Narvaez till there, so Owen, you just infinite relay 99. Then a pull, use your gel. There's only a few guys up here in position. Narvaez is going to attack the hill and then try to pull a Venipole over the top. It's just 13 riders. Here we go. Here comes the hill. Here comes the hill. Just about there. There you go. Narvaez. Narvaez. It's 2k. 2k to go. Pulling a Venipole. There you go. Narvaez with your sprint. And now a Venipole. Come on, come on, top three. That's four seconds. That's four seconds. Narvaez wins the stage. Petit takes second. Uh oh. At a Venipole third. Petit gains more time, so we're not going to pass him. But Millard takes sixth. And that's the time we needed over Millard, who had moved into third. So. Moscon stays ninth. I don't know if he's going to have any time loss or not. But Narvaez, he's going to pick up some time. It's going to move him up a little bit in the standings. But more importantly, Eventipol picks up four seconds, which is enough to repass Millard for third. Pettit, who was in second, gained six seconds. He might have won this race now. Moscon, down in ninth. Eventipol won't pass him unless there is a time gap. But I think we have done it. I think we got ourselves a top three. And we pulled off a stage win with Narvaez while we're at it. But of course, the main focus is the overall. Oh, and meanwhile, even grabs 10th. So that's, that's good. Let's speed this up so we can see what happened. Achievement unlocked five objectives, so we did get into the top three. Narvaez coming to the line first, Avenipol crossing third, well clear of fourth place, but there is definitely a gap to fifth. Will they give us the gap? They do not. They do not give the gap. Ugh. Eleven riders on the same time, so Mosca and Given a gift. It's not a sprint stage. That was a hills stage. There's the classification right there. So I think we got third. We did. If it had given a gap to Moscon's group, we would have had second. Still, fantastic job. Narvaez into the top five even with the stage win there. If only he had done better on the prologue, we could have been writing for him instead of a Venipole. And he had a second and a first on those last two stages. We probably could have pulled off two wins, giving him an additional four seconds. But that still puts him eight seconds behind a Venipole. And the whole point there, right, was that... He was so bad on the prologue that we had to ride for a Venipole and not the other way around. If we were riding for Narvaez, I think we might have been able to get more time, but still, he just he was too weak on that prologue. If he was only 10 seconds down or something like that, I, I probably would have equally rode for him and a Venipole. But either way, we make it work. We get into the podium. We get third place. 
Now Vegas takes fifth. Oh, and takes ninth. So we got three riders in the top ten overall against four World Tour teams as a Continental team. Narvaez just four points off Pettit for the Sprints jersey. We pick up a little bit of mountains, but never really rode for it. Uh, Moscow does hang on to win the under 25s classification as we get three guys into the top five and five into the top ten in that classification, and plus you know, 11th to just throw that in for good measure. But we do win the team classification by a solid two and a half minutes over Groupama FDJ. Movie Star was eight minutes down. Cofidis was 8.44. Anios was 11.18. And to kind of quick step, who did not bring a strong team to this race at all, they were a full 15 minutes down. That sees a major boost for now. It's always... It always does a reevaluation the next day, and it puts us right back where we were. So the temporary evaluation was great, but when they reclassify everything, we're essentially right where we were as a success. But completed goal from here. The last big one is Tour of Utah, but it's after August. So it's after we'll have already signed our deal for the next year, if that hasn't changed anyway in the way they work the game. And we do have another important one and kind of a couple uh, behind that moderately that could hurt us. Uh, but the results are maxed out. The squad is looking good. The registered riders is that one, I, one area I heard. And part of that is just the overall popularity of the riders. They're just not that popular. Uh, but there are some tricks that you could do to try to boost that registered riders one. Uh, it just doesn't work terribly well with a Continental team. Uh, so I'll, I'll try to take a look and see what I can do to improve that uh, in those next couple of races, see if there's anything I can tweak with the team to get a boost there. But otherwise, I think we're on our way to a success this season, holding that. That's still a 12,000 boost per month, and we're already... What was it, like 30,000 below that mark? So we'll have a good 40,000 more to, to play with in the market. So we'll have no problem re-signing everybody we've got or anybody we want to re-sign and then being able to sign quite a few additional uh, riders to the team for next season. So that, that it's all looking pretty good. Of course, it's still only April. We've got a long ways to go. Uh, but that was a very, very big test as that was the last large objective, major objective, uh, between now and the signing period. Still leading the Continental and further ahead. And we're back up a spot to 19th. We're over 1,000 points now, well clear of 1,000 points now, with 100, uh, 1,116. It's a good total. Feels good. That's going to do it for this episode. I'm Decathlon Gamer. And remember, I'm aiming for the best of the best. So if you're ready to join me on my journey, hit subscribe. And tune in next time on my Road to the Record. Bye for now.